Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick intro on the incoming video you're about to watch. Um, and the reason is, it's it's about a little renovation that I did in Long Melford. Long Melford's a lovely little village um, steeped in history um, and lots of historical houses. And one of these houses was the, uh, the house I did the renovation on. Now, the reason it was different was because the soil is so much better than what I've worked on normally. It's a really lovely, loamy soil. Now, where I work, uh, in the area demographic I work in, in North Essex and South Suffolk, it's notoriously quite clayish, clay loam. Uh, this was a bit different for whatever reason, I don't know. But I had a feeling that once we'd got it right, and once we'd done the renovation, that the results would be fantastic. And so what we did, the renovation was no real any different to, to what I've done already, other than the fact the soil was so much better to work with. Yes, there was a little bit of thatch. Yes, there was quite a bit of moss. Yes, there were some undulations we had to kind of shave off. But overall, classic renovation. I just want to explain this because it just goes to show the difference a soil profile can make to the end result of a renovation. Now this lawn has come back and it's thick and it's dense and it's consistent in colour and that's because of the soil. So uh, have a look and see what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe. Morning, Mark from The Lawnologist. Just want to share with you this lawn. Um, in my mind is the perfect English country garden. I'm in a small village along Melford. Um, we picked up this lawn. It was in a real pickle, lots of moss, lots of thatch, lots of ant holes, ant holes, ant hills. Um, and all sorts of other bits and pieces. Now we renovated this back in spring and one of the points I noticed back then was the soil was really good and I expected the grass to uh, to do really well. So anyway, this is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. Happy days.